nose. Um, ew. How should I start this off? Um, mm, should I like walk in a frame? Would that be a better way? Hi. Ew. <laughs> that wasn't real. Um, hey though, for real. Hi. Um, it's been the hottest of minutes since I uploaded a video. Um, whoops. I think this is like the longest I've gone without uploading and I feel really bad but the month of October was um something else I had like <laughs> all these ideas planned and then I uh just did none of them I like half attempted most of them and just okay What is up? Okay. What is up, YouTube? What is up, gamers? Who got into a fight with her mom last night for the 500th time this week? Me. <laughs> no excuse. Genuinely, like, no excuse. Um,. Cause I really didn't want to upload like two little finsta vlogs back to back but um that's what I'm gonna be doing anyways so I have some type of content put out on my channel um hopefully this month of November will go much better um because I don't feel as shot <laughs> um mentally um because I, I talked about it in my last video um, how burnt out I felt and I thought if I talked about it I would like immediately feel better once I posted that video um, and then I did not immediately feel better at all like oh I'll, I'll get over this in like a day I never do I never have once to my dear future daughter daughters um, that find these videos um, hey it's your mom and whatever you do, you can do anything. You can fucking smoke whatever. You can drink whatever. You can fuck whomever. I don't care. One thing I am begging, 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 you never, ever, ever do is have a problem with eating food. Because yesterday, for example, I had two hot meals and what I mean by that is in the morning I toasted a bagel and slapped some cream cheese on her and then for dinner I went and got pizza with your well grandfather and grandmother um, and I have spent all day the next day beating myself up about it because when I stepped on the scale this morning I was one pound heavier than I was the day before <laughs> I'm upset with myself because I ate hot food and my dumb brain calculates that hot food is what makes you fat I don't know why and I'm talking to someone currently as to why my brain works that way and why I really shouldn't be upset over one pound because I bet you tomorrow when I step on the scale I'll be back to the original weight that I am and if anything at all I probably could afford to gain a few pounds because honestly if I drop like three pounds for example I'll be considered underweight for my height um, Hee <laughs> hee. 
but I'm I'm back. I feel motivated to make content again. Um, I also apologize for the fact that I look like uh, fucking gross. Um, once again, I'm still not wearing any makeup. Um, I got into a bit of a, a skin picking fit, as you can probably tell. So, um, once again, whoops. But, um, anxiety's a bitch. So let's talk about it. Imagine if you didn't feel like this constant need um, to be more than what you are. Imagine being content with your being and your personal surroundings. Kind of give like a, little, a brief little like overview of how I'm feeling or a brief little introduction. If maybe you're not too familiar with the stars, if you're not a man of science and magic like I am. Um, I'm a Scorpio rising. So rising signs are very much like your ego signs, how people first see you when you walk into a room. And being a Scorpio rising, it's, as I've said before, the Probably one of the biggest reasons why everyone thinks I'm a major see you next Tuesday when they first meet me. Because I have a very like strong in the face look, like a strong rusting bitch face. And I'm very sarcastic, very cut and dry. I kind of see through bullshit. I don't do, you know, I, I want to sound like Jughead from like Riverdale, where like I'm weird i don't fit in i don't want to fit in like that's my fucking like scorpio rising i like i cut through bullshit i don't do kind of like the no 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 parts right i don't i'm not that way and um when i kind of like walk into a room and this is really not like me like blowing smoke up my own ass even though i was about to sound like i'm blowing smoke up my own ass um, but I've always been told I have like a really like strong energy to me that's almost like very magnetic um, But at the same time very like secretive So the fact that I've always seen it is that like Whatever your rising sign is in that is like the most stereotypical version of that sign, right? So kind of being like this dark and alluring, you know, sort of bitchy witchy type figure um is very much like the stereotype of a Scorpio. And that makes sense though, because your first impressions that you make on other people, it is you, but it's the most polished cookie cutter version of you. Um, it doesn't have like all the, all the baggage and all the weight of your actual personality, your actual being. And that's where like your sun and your moon signs come in. Scorpio is my rising sign and this Mercury in retrograde is also in Scorpio. That means like personally for me, like my ego is getting kind of fucked with. You know, if you have a good relationship with your mom, cherish that shit because I would kill. I would kill for it. But instead, every night we argue and in the morning, she acts like nothing happened the night before. I'm living. I'm, I'm thrilled. Peachy, let me put you up here. Hold on, one sec. Peachy Keen, thrilled, living my best existence. I feel nothing at all. Emotional whiplash. Don't know her. <sighs> Never heard of her. I'm fine. It's okay. Because this retrograde being in Scorpio is all about a strong like karma energy, right? Like everything is coming back to the surface. Um, whatever you did in your past is coming back now. Any feelings you've had back then, well, they're here again, baby. Um, so what are you gonna do with them? And fuck, dude, I do not know what I'm gonna do with them. Because I like being a Scorpio rising. Um, it, it's fun for me because it's very much not it's very um uh, how do i want to phrase this 
I like being a Scorpio rising. I find the idea of being like this detached, cool girl type of persona, like who doesn't want to be that? Who doesn't want to always be like slightly out of reach? And, and I love that. I love seeing like I don't care about anything that I'm just so go with the flow and I see past your bullshit and I'm sarcastic and I'm edgy and... It's not really me <laughs> at all. But, you know, we have our egos as a security blanket. Um, and anytime I feel really weak in myself, I'll wrap myself up in this image of being this cool girl. And my Scorpio is like perfect for that. Yeah, like lately I've, I've been finding myself, I've been slipping into this emotionally detached person again. And it's so easy to be that. It's so easy to play the cool girl because I've, that's what I've always wanted to be, right? I always wanted to be like this cool, it sounds so childish, but I really did. I always wanted to be this cool girl because like growing up, I wasn't at all. Um, but eventually as I got into like later half of high school and like college, I was able to kind of build up this image of myself and everyone would always say it to me too. They would always say to me like, you know, when I first met you, I thought you were like such a bitch. You were so, you know, you were mean or I thought you didn't like me. And it sucks because like, that's always so far from the truth because it's in like the minute you actually have a conversation with me, I'm like stupid and I don't know I say weird shit and I'm I'm really not like that at all and I could have gone to college and been the stem major maybe you know become an engineer and um you know work at a nice company doing I don't know, does anyone really know what a fucking engineer is? Because I still don't, but, you know, whatever engineers do, you know, geometry, trig, algebra, right? And I get paid to do all those things. And, um, I have a beautiful family and a nice home, and I'm happy. And I don't feel any creative needs at all. I just wake up. I go to work, I come home, I look at my wife or my husband, whomever chooses to marry me. I look at my beautiful children, we talk, we play, we eat dinner together, we watch some TV, and then we go to bed. And I'm happy with that life. But no, <laughs> not I, not fucking I. <laughs> Nope. Nope. Not me. I chose a life of wanting to write poetry and scripts and fiction and film videos of myself to put on the internet all the while looking like the grudge. It always happens to me. I always find myself kind of like escaping into my ego um when i'm feeling down and i don't want to be that way anymore and this is what i mean this whole mercury in retrograde of course the sun is now coming out it's been dark and gloomy all day and now that i'm talking about my emotions the sun is taking a bit of a peek but honestly if i became an engineer i'd probably fucking kill myself so i mean <laughs> 
here I am trying to be a creative type and I'm still living, baby, so. Doing better than most, I suppose. Yahtzee. Yeah, so, and like this is, I think, like this karma type energy is this time last year before my big mental health pop, right? Before the pop, I was getting so involved in trying to put on this facade that, you know, everyone said I was, right? Everyone said I was X, Y, and Z things, and I went, fucking fine, I am, right? And then that's when I cut myself off from, like, a lot of people and pretended, like, I didn't care, but I, I did a lot. <laughs> um, but I didn't know how to express, like, hey, I know I said I didn't care, um, I was lying, please help. Um, I didn't know how to do that, I didn't want to do that, and it's hard to make sense of mental health, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> flash forward to this present moment, I feel myself getting wrapped up in my ego, getting wrapped up in this idea that I'm cool and uncaring and as I just, I wish I had a larger vocabulary <laughs> um, so I could stop repeating myself, but alas, I only know two words. Um, but I feel myself falling into my Scorpio ego and again but this time i'm so much more self-aware and i really think that's because of the retrograde but it's also causing such a huge conflict in my brain <laughs> where i'll be doing like all these things that i used to do that were bad and but this time i'm like oh hey, Mary Shannon, you're doing it again. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. You're still doing it. Oh my fucking God, you're still doing it. You clown! <laughs> no, I'm also in a really weird and like messy time in my life where a lot of things are super unknown and I'm just trying to ride that wave because last year, um, when I thought I knew a lot of things it turns out I didn't and my brain broke in half <laughs> and this year I know jack shit and I'm kind of more mellow about it hey what's up gamers uh, real quick before I go into work um, fun little thing that happened to me last night um, is I had a dream and not a very good dream at that in fact it was uh, what the kids would call fucking horrifying one of my favorite people on astro twitter eric esoteric who i will link um down below because i think they do fantastic readings um especially like really good monthly readings and basically to kind of summarize like what they wrote for the month especially for gemini is like basically i'm in a vast unknown but I've been in this unknown before. I've been in this sort of like emotional isolation, which I like just said I was in last year and I'm in it again this year. <laughs> um, and I don't have all the information, but I have like more information on how to deal with the situation and And basically like every part of me kind of wants to nip all these feelings like in the bud and just once again cut myself up cut not cut myself up Ooh, no 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 do not do that cut myself off um from you know these these feelings um, i just want to nip it in the bud i want to get an answer i want either an answer or no answer i just want it to be done right i hate being in this unknown um, but this entire month, I'm gonna be in the unknown, and that is what the stars have decided for me. Just a simple pleb, a humble servant to the gods. 
there's no like easy solution for me. There's no easy answer. It's gonna be, it's gonna be weird. My nightmare, I was in the shower and I was washing my hair, but then suddenly all my hair started falling out and I panicked and when I f like flipped my head up for like whatever reason, more clumps of hair were coming out. I was bleeding profusely out of my arms, um, there, but it was like dark, dark blood, like almost black. Um, I tried to scream for help, but I couldn't because it felt like there was gravels of rocks in my throat. Um, so trying to get anyone to save me was um, not happening, but also on top of that, I was not the only one in the shower. No, 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 no. It was not just Mary Shane and McHugh losing all her hair and bleeding out. Absolutely not. You want to know who was in the shower with me? A fucking crow! A crow! A big giant ass crow that was gonna get me or already did got me. I don't know. It was just standing there on top of me with its fucking wing hovered over me in this big cold shadow of darkness that even if I tried to push it away I couldn't move because I was bleeding everywhere meaning I was weak. My XP levels were down here not up here but eventually I kind of managed to like scoot out of the fucking darkness of the crow and when I opened up the shower there was a big giant black cat a black cat in my bathroom just making a fucking mess and I just kept trying to scream but I could not so that was cool because you know Gemini's wanna we gather all the information we can right we want to get both sides of every story to form our own opinion and that's why we're two-faced right um but this is what i mean this is why my scorpio plays really well with my gemini because my scorpio rising cuts through the bullshit and um which makes it easier for my gemini to kind of cycle through all the information that i'm like constantly taking in um and then my poor aquarius moon is just trying to like categorize everything trying to make sense of the big old mess that is how i think um it's really funny anytime i put like my big three um zodiac signs in like anything like astrology like related people always immediately comment like wow how emotionally detached are you and it's so rude because at the end of the day my venus sign is in gemini and I, so i'm not that emotionally detached i'm just I'm just bad at like being this, more like this. She says, just tonight has been vlogging the past three weeks. He's never mind. I It's just, I think this retrograde is basically like, I want the answer so bad right now, but I don't even know what the fuck the question is. All I know is I don't want a great Gatsby myself and try to repeat the past. Yeah, I think that's all I kind of have to say for this rainy day. And I'm gonna try to edit this video as quick as possible and get it out to you and I promise my next videos will have much more production value. I do apologize for kind of like shitting the bed there in terms of uploading. Um, but also I recently gained like a good, a good handful of subscribers recently. So hello, my little eggs. Welcome to my stupid channel with my stupid face. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. Um, like I said, I know we're a small channel, a small little group of folks but i don't know i'm happy about it 
like really if there's anything i'm pretty solid about is uh me and you so that is going to be it for today thank you so much for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe and as always have a good rest of your day or night or wherever this video finds you and i'll catch you next time